My sheep are in now, they need feeding, so I have my version of a tractor and loader here. It's a, it's an old, uh, it's an old uh, two and a half ton Komatsu digger. So I use it for my work. Uh, some of the jobs I'd be doing at work, I might need a little digger, so. So I made a little implement for it. It's a little device that turns your digger into a, a more usable machine for around the shed. Uh, so basically, I uh, hadn't planned on using this this early, but it's, uh, it converts me digger into a, something that can handle bales. And I use this as well for bedding the shed so I can pick up uh, the bedding and just drop it into the pen and then I can shake it out. So it's a useful tool. Uh, I threw it together and uh, it's pretty handy. Now I probably could do with a tractor and loader, but I don't, um, I don't really, well it's not, it's not fair to say I don't have a tractor. I do have a tractor. It's pretty vintage, it's an old Massey Ferguson 135. So it's my, I'll not say my main farm tractor, it's my only farm tractor. Uh, she's a 1967 for any of you vintage men that are, would be interested. It's pretty limited what you can do with it, but seeing that now, it is a very handy little tool with the link box now. Right, these sheep need feeding now, so we're just going to track down to the shed and get a bale of hay, roll it out here, uh, get these fed. These ladies have been in now, I need to go and feed myself there, so these ladies are in about uh, an hour now, so it's time to get fed, get something to eat for them. Okay, we'll drop her down here, get the net off. That's my sheep fed, uh, no sweat broken. Uh, it cuts down on this machine. Uh, in this part of the world we call it the uh, grape. It's about cutting down time as much as manual labor. So I use my little digger for doing the, the donkey work we call it. Uh, in in my opinion, in sheep farming, you get enough hardship without looking for it. So whatever means you can find to make life that little bit easier, the better. Look, I know some farmers are going to say, 
would you not just buy a tractor and loader? And the simple answer to that is yes, I will at some stage, but because I, this is a relatively new operation, it's very hard without uh, owning the bank, it's very hard to get your feet on the ground without getting up to your neck in debt. So we're just trying to do it bit by bit. But yeah, I'll get there eventually. I love that machine for the simple reason. Speeds up the feeding here. Less manual graping. I do use it. I actually use it for bedding as well. I, I fit to pick up the bales and shake them out. Shake them out in the pens. Uh, I'll see. I'm, not, I'm just going to have a look here and see if it's due for bedding. It probably is. They're going to be in the shed a couple of days longer than I expected. So you'll see here. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but... Uh, Yeah, look, we might. Yeah, I look, I think it is due for a bed, and so I might just go and get a bed. Yeah, you're probably looking at this stuff wondering, uh, what is that? It doesn't really look like uh, straw. Well, the simple answer is, the part of the world I live in, in Cavan here, we don't, um, we've no tillage, basically just, Practically zero tillage in Cavan. So straw for bedding is a commodity, we'd say. Uh, so I suppose you use what you have. So I had a bit of rough ground that consisted of um, scrubby type grass and rushes. Some of you farmers won't actually know what rushes are, but they're a, they're a plant that grows in uh, very wet, marshy, ground that hasn't been looked after and neglected so when I um, started farming this piece of ground was uh, this piece of ground was it was rough and the dry summer I think back in 2018 uh, I mowed it uh, and shook it out and basically made bales of what uh, can be only classed as rough bedding now, there is some eating in it as well, so uh, they will pick through it and nibble out bits of grass and stuff in it, but really it's just rough bedding. So it saves me from buying straw. Now, I was out the cost of making the bales, but it's a good saving on bedding, and it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly fine for bedding. So, yeah, so I'll just go and grab a bale, shake it out here, and show you the bedding operation with one of these rough bales. So that's the net off. So let's get it shook out. Now that's the bale chuck out. So the next thing is I have to do is come along with my uh, fork or grape or sprung or whatever you call it and shake these lumps that I've dropped in the pen out manually to bed the pen. So that's that job done. Uh, as you can see, it's labor intensive, gets the sweat up, a uh, little bit dusty, should probably be wearing a mask. In the winter time, it's probably the biggest job. As you can see, the feeding's not bad with uh, 
digger and the little grape I have on the front of it. That's simple enough, but the bedding is time consuming. So if anyone has any opinions or thoughts or knowledge on what would improve my system, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. See you for the next one. Thanks for watching.